If you want to grab our men's lifestyle supplement and male advantage ebook, all links are in the bio. Once you add, you cannot take away. And this is why guys who are like 30 years old, who are sat there whinging and saying, I've done nothing with my life, I fucked up, is there any point anymore? You have not added yet. You are free. You are free as a bird. And I know it's a weird analogy to begin with the concrete. People, if you're still here, thank you, because people probably thought, where's he going with this? But when you come full circle, it all clicks and it makes sense, okay? Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be talking about how avoiding is better than doing. And you guys have probably noticed with a lot of my videos how I, apart from the crypto videos and you know sometimes fitness you know where it is something actionable, the majority of the time I'm actually telling you guys what to avoid rather than what to do. You know the Male Advantage ebook that I've written, the entire blueprint of that book is telling you, you know, number one, yeah, you should get in the gym and focus on success. Every other chapter is about what to avoid and what not to do. And th this is why I believe that avoiding is actually better than doing. Now, look, ideal scenario, you avoid all the garbage, you do all the best stuff, and you do it at once, okay? It's the best scenario, obviously. But the reason I'm making this video is so that the guys that, you know, I had a message from a guy the other day saying he's 22, he felt like his life was already over. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. You know, and that's an extreme version. And there's nothing wrong with this guy thinking that way. That's just how society has framed it. But there's plenty of guys that are older than this, okay? So that's an extreme version. But there's plenty of guys that are like 30, 35 years old, you know, in between that kind of bracket. And they're still really young. They just don't realize it. And they're sat there thinking, my life's over. I fucked up. I'm not married. I don't have kids. I don't have my own house. I don't have a nice car. I'm still living with my mum or something. You know, I don't know where I'm going in life. Or they're living at some terrible rented accommodation. I don't really know where I'm going in my life. I wasted the first 10 years doing coke or, you know, getting drunk or whatever. Playing games, hanging out with my mates. I, I feel like I'm really behind. Is there any point in starting there? One thing you got to remember, guys, okay? We used to have a saying when I used to do laboring, okay? Concreting. It's basically what I was doing. I was digging holes and I was putting concrete in those holes and then we were bricklaying and building it all when I was really young. One of my bosses at the time, who's a good friend of mine, he once said to me when it comes to concrete, you know, you've got to put water into the concrete to be able to mix it up. You have a certain different texture depending on what you want, whether depending on the weather, whether you want it to spread around, you know, do you want it mucky, do you want it, you know, that sort of thing. He always said to me, when it comes to adding the water to see how much we require, you can always add, but you cannot take away. Does that make sense, guys? You can always add, but you cannot take away. So if I were to go, well, I think we need this much water, and then it turns out it's too much, what, what am I supposed to do? Go and get a straw? You know, I can pour a little bit away. It just doesn't really quite work. It's always better to have not as much in there, you know, or less in there than you actually need, because then you can always add a little bit, little bit, little bit, and get closer to perfection. And it's the same in life when it comes to avoid or doing, okay? And like I said, doing plus avoiding together is great. But for the guys who are like 30, 35 years old in that bracket, or anybody younger who's struggling right now, you have to think, okay? You can always add, you cannot take away. So if you're 32 years old, you've got an 80k a year job, you're, you've got three daughters that cost you a bomb, okay? So you've done the whole kids thing, you've got a wife, you've spent a ton of money on that, uh, in terms of wedding, I'm not saying on that as in the woman, you know, she obviously requires money as well to to maintain the lifestyle that you lot are doing, whether she's independent or not, she's going to want to go on holiday, have dates, want a new family car, you might go 50-50 equality, that's still coming out of your back pocket, okay, she might want refurbishments done to the house, might go 50-50 again, she's an independent woman, still coming out of your pocket on something that you not might not necessarily have wanted, but the wife has kind of got in your head and said, we need this, this needs to improve. Okay, love, you know, we'll go ahead with this. This, this is how it goes. And you've got all these ties. You've got all these bills. You've got all these commitments. You've got a wife and three daughters. 
Okay, you have to go to this nine to five job every day and your boss is on your ass or whatever. That's a very tough life because you cannot take away. Once you add children, 18 years, you can't take that shit away. That's very difficult. Once you add a wife, if you take that away, the financial implications are disastrous. Once you decide to get married, you know, you've got the bills that are obviously coming with that. But if you decide to pull the plug, socially, it's suicide. Everybody's going to hate you. It's just a nightmare. Your relationship might go down the drain. You don't know where it's going. Once you add, you cannot take away. And this is why guys who are like 30 years old, who are sat there whinging and saying, I've done nothing with my life. I fucked up. Is there any point anymore? You have not added yet. You are free. You are free as a bird. And I know it's a weird analogy to begin with the concrete. People, if you're still here, thank you, because people probably thought, where's he going with this? But when you come full circle, it all clicks and it makes sense, okay? You have a child. You are stuck with that child. You know, the sex is great. You're in the moment. You're thinking, shall I pull out? Ah, oh, no, it just feels too good. Just remember, you cannot take that away. This is a decision for life. Don't forget those sort of things. When you put that money down on that mortgage, that money's you got gone until you sell that house. You might not want to sell your house. You might have a baby and you've got to now live in that house with that kids. And, you know, your flexibility and agility just goes out the window. You can't do the things that you were planning anymore. Once you've got a couple of kids, once you've got a missus, once you've got a mortgage, what are you going to do? Just say to your family, we're going to relocate to America tomorrow because it's better for my business. That's like a two, three, four year decision. And then you've got your family to worry about and stuff like that as well, like outside of it, which obviously adds to it, which you've got normally. But when you've got the two components together, it makes it really difficult. You just lose that flexibility. You don't have as much time anymore. You cannot make decisions on the fly. You cannot be as selfish as somebody like me can be. You know, I'm planning in the next two to three months over summer to probably drop about 20,000 on a huge batch of the men's lifestyle supplements a because they nearly sold out um a huge batch of the men's boxes that i showed you guys a few months back i'm really planning these out at the moment just finding a supplier that understands what quality really is rather than just quantity of you know i'll get these for a dollar sell them for 30 that's what that hugo boss does that's not me that's not what i do so i'm looking to spend all that money at the moment if i had a wife i wouldn't be able to do that well, I could, but, you know, I'd probably upset her. If I had daughters, sons, whatever, if I had kids, I wouldn't be able to do that. It just, I, I mean, I'd have to pay for something. It would, be, it would be a reckless decision that would then impact those around me. And that's what I mean. You cannot take certain things away. Once you add these major features to your life, you cannot take them away. It's the same with bills. You know, you can, yeah, you can, you can get some bills out of the way, and they're not forever. But if you go and get a car on finance, guys... You cannot immediately take that away. You know, if you're in a rented accommodation, yeah, you might have to give a month or two's notice, but at the time you're in there, you you know, you can take it away, but it's currently on you. It's currently a bill that you're having to pay. You know, there's just so many little things, especially a car on finance. This might, might be like a five-year thing. You take a loan so that you can go on a, ho on a holiday this year or buy some nice clothes or because you've accumulated a load of credit card debt. Well, you know, you're stuck with that now for five, six years with the minimal payments. That's very, very tough. That's very, very tough. You cannot take that away for a certain amount of time. It's better to avoid, and by avoid, I mean these pitfalls. Like you're going through life, like imagine a car going down a straight road and there are, I've got hairs on my head, they're definitely not mine, it's obviously someone else's. Um, imagine you're going down this straight road and there's like potholes in the road, okay? And when you're driving down there, the ideal scenario for a man is to navigate all the way through them and get to the end without any flaw, without anything going wrong. But the average man goes down this road, he falls through the first pothole, you know, which is something like, find, like finding women, finding that women exist. The second thing, finding that alcohol exists. And then merging the two and doing nothing but just going out, getting drunk and chasing women for like 10 years. This is like the biggest pitfall, number one. A lot of guys spend like... 10 years in this hole and the RAC come along pulls them out and they get back on this road okay they're trying to get back to normal they meet a woman they have children bang they've fallen down another another hole now children aren't all bad but you have to be prepared you know it has to be maybe further along down that road when you've bought bigger tires and you can go over that hole you know or they've you've paid to get the road done like I'm using a stupid example but you get my point there's these pit up there's these like pitfalls all the way along there's these traps that you're going to fall into 
and it's better to it's better to avoid those than it is to than it is to like kind of push forwards and have oh I've got marriage oh I've got three kids oh I've got you know a mortgage oh I've got this nice car that I bought on finance everyone's going to think I'm successful and I'm 35 so I kind of rushed all that through so that I'd feel better about myself you cannot take away guys once you add these sort of things you cannot take them away and the point I'm making this is why I'm bringing this to you guys okay anybody who is who feels like their life is going nowhere maybe they are like 30 years old unaccomplished and they're panicking and th they're thinking what is going on with my life like where am I going here well, you have to think. You don't have any of these negatives. You don't have these big bills. It's better to be agile. It's better to be flexible. You could plausibly get to 30 years old, have nothing good in your life, and be thinking, shit, I'm so far behind everyone else. But because you don't have these things that you avoided in your life, you can then rebuild. You know, you can actually do something about it. And you don't have a limiter. You know, a guy who's 30 years old, who has a wife, three kids, a house, a car on finance, you know, and very high bills and takes the family on holiday twice a year because they want to, you know, which is, you know, that's something that men just pretty much have to do. Um, the dog in the family gets treated better than the men. Well, in that scenario, that guy's not going much further. Like, he's, he's hit his ceiling. Everyone else is going to have a grandiose life, but he is just... You know, he's got his ceiling there. He's not going any further. It's very hard for that guy to then make changes, to then improve. If he becomes unhappy and stressed and his wife's no longer having sex with him, his kids are treating him like dirt. Like, he, there's not a lot of places that guy can go. He's not agile. He's not flexible, okay? But the guy who is 30 years old, who's considered a bum, who's doing nothing with his life, who has... You know, not that much money saved up, whatever, but he's got no bills, he's got no ties, he's got nothing weighing him down, he's avoided all these pitfalls, he still has the agility and flexibility to turn it around at any point. And he only has to be right once. Like, imagine a guy, let's say, let's say 10 years ago, who was 30 years old, and he was an absolute bum, and everyone was like, ah, this guy's going nowhere with his life. Saved up 10 grand. Okay, everyone's like, oh, you should really try and get a mortgage off the back of that because you're going nowhere. He feels like shit about himself. He takes £1,000 of that money and put it on Bitcoin. He had the ability to do that. You know, now he's worth £37 million. It's, pr it's probably a lot more now, but at the time when it all kicked off, which I imagine most people would have sold, he would have been worth like £37 million. I think it was like 2008 or something like that. It might have been just, be just after that, 2010 or whatever. But that guy had the option to do that because he didn't have to put a £1,000 on stupid bills. He didn't have to pay finance on a car. He didn't have to pay for his daughter's school trip. He didn't have to pay for all the food for the family for the month. Like, he can take those risks. That's why it's better to avoid than do. You know, obviously do is better. But this is why I constantly talk. That what I mean is avoiding and doing at the same time is better. But this is why I constantly talk about avoiding the things that are going to hold you back. Because you could be you could be the most talented fucker in the world. You could have the best future ahead of you, voted most likely to succeed in your fucking American style yearbook, and then you go and get a girl pregnant. And it doesn't it doesn't mean you're not gonna succeed, it just makes it ten times harder. And that is one of the fucking holes in the road that you've just crashed into. Now if you did that at thirty eight, yeah, it's wildly different. That pothole's like that big compared to like that big. Okay? Because you're more prepared to deal with it. You've got bigger tires on your car. It's a lot easier. Try and, try and focus more on what you should be avoiding. How you should set your life up better. How you can navigate it through a certain route. And what this will give you is patience. Because then you will think to yourself, well, if I don't have to have kids now, because everyone's fucking pressuring me, if I don't have to have a mortgage and a house because it doesn't really bother me and it's not actually all what it's cracked up to be, you know, it's just it's just a house. If I don't have to have the flashy car because I'm secure in myself, if I don't have to have massive bills and nice clothes yet because I just, I would rather be free and mentally health, like have my mental health in place because I don't want to be stressing about, oh, I've got to go to work. If I lose my job, I'm fucked. Well, then you're in the best scenario. Like you are in the best possible scenario if you focus on all these things because you could be, you could be 38 years old, your life's never really gone anywhere. If you don't have all these things weighing you down, 
three, four years, you could turn it all around and be rich as fuck and then go and have all those things. You could then turn it all around. But by having this mentality of what shall I avoid rather than what I, what can I gain? What, where should I be? What should I push forward? Just always be thinking about what can I avoid? Where are the pitfalls? What is messing me up in life? What is messing everybody up? What is, what is destroying all of these male lives out here? What are men complaining about and what are they unhappy about? If you can think in that manner, you're going to be more patient. Because you're going to take your time, you're going to navigate around these pitfalls and you're going to say, I'm not going down that route. Oh, you haven't had kids yet. We've all had kids. Why aren't you doing it? Because I'm taking my time. I'm patient. I'm navigating through. I'm waiting for the right opportunities. You know, it's not the time to do it now. I I personally think there should be a financial means test before you have kids. Because I just think raising a child when you can't take care of yourself is cruel. I think it's somewhat child abuse. I I think there should be an intelligence test, a basic one. And I think there should be a financial means test. But I'm going to upset people with that. You know, if I was prime minister, I'd put that in place in the UK. Because some of the, i got to say, some of the scumbags that have kids, is, it shocks me. I think you you can't survive on your own. You're no use to society and now you're bringing two more into the world and you're the one raising them. That's a nightmare. You know, but that's for another topic. But it, it kind of links to, are you ready for this? You know, are you getting a mortgage? Are you getting in a relationship? Are you having kids because you feel under pressure? Because they're so stupid. You know, always think about what you should avoid to be able to get to the end of the road. It's more important to be flexible and agile than it is to appear successful. If you want to grab our men's lifestyle supplement and male advantage ebook, all links are in the bio.